Upon receiving your Dorner conveyor, unpack all items and ensure all required parts are included. You'll need a set of metric Allen wrenches. For shorter conveyors, the belt will already be placed on the conveyor. Refer to the belt installation video for instructions on installing the belt onto the conveyor. Locate the stand brackets and place a screw into the bracket. Insert the nut into the conveyor side slot. Fasten the bracket to the conveyor with the mounting screw. Attach the T-bar, washer, and mounting screw to the support stand. Attach the support stand to the bracket. Tighten the mounting screws. Locate the coupling half and spider bushing. Remove the tape from the output shaft if needed and ensure the key is in place. Place the coupling so that it's flush with the end of the shaft. Then tighten the set screw on top of the key. Install the spider bushing in the jaw coupling. Slide mounting screws through the slots in the gear motor bracket and rotate the gear motor assembly into the desired position. Tighten the mounting screws. Install the anti-rotation pin. To mount the controller, install the T-bars into the T-slot of the conveyor and attach the controller with two socket head screws. The conveyor is now ready to be plugged in and tested, ensuring smooth operation.